Hello and assalamu alaikum. I hope each and every one of you will be doing great. Uh, so this is lecture number 18 and in this part of the lecture I will discuss about uh, solar photovoltaic plant design. So first of all let me discuss about the design steps that are uh, considered during the uh, process of designing the overall solar uh, photovoltaic plant. The first step is to determine the power consumption demands. For this purpose, we calculate the total number of watts per hour, watts hour per day that must be supplied to all the loads. And also we calculate the total power uh, in watts or per day required from a photovoltaic uh, power plant or uh, solar cell uh, panels. In the second step, uh, we uh, estimate uh, that uh, what should be the size of a photovoltaic module that will satisfy our needs. For this purpose, we have to calculate the total power watt peak uh, rating uh, needed for photovoltaic module. Also, we will calculate the number of photovoltaic panels for the entire system. Uh, which we uh, which we uh, where, uh, which will uh, satisfy the overall uh, power needs or power requirements. The third step, uh, we will find out uh, the inverter size. That what should be the size of the inverter that should be capable of handling the uh, load requirements. So for uh, this purpose, uh, we must uh, take into consideration the fact that the inverter wattage must be 1.25 to 1.3 times uh, the wattage of uh, non-compressor motor loads and three times the wattage of uh, compressor motor loads in order to handle the starting currents. In the fourth step, uh, we will estimate that what should be the size of battery that will fulfill our battery requirement. Also, we will consider the nominal battery voltage and nominal module voltage or nominal module module voltage so that uh, we can drive our inverter at a reasonable power rating. In the fifth part, we calculate the charge control sizing. The common practice is uh, to uh, multiply the total uh, short circuit current of all the modules uh, with 1.3. So that the charge control sizing is uh, 1.3 times the actual requirement. So, let me first uh, discuss the uh, panel uh, generation factor or PGF. That is a factor made uh, by a corporation that indicates the overall uh, uh, power gen uh, generation uh, like uh, power factor. It gives an idea about uh, the solar uh, insulation uh, levels in watt per meter square at any site and also it gives an idea of effective hours per day of sunlight. Now we will move towards our example. Sun rises around uh, 7 am and sets around 5 pm in our country in winters. Uh, worse conditions of sunlight implies uh, approximately 10 hours of uh, sunlight. So average solar insulation on earth's surface is about 1000 watt per meter square. It happens only when uh, sunlight strikes uh, the uh, planet at about 90 degree around the moon. Lower solar uh, panels or uh, solar photovoltaic uh, power will be uh, produced uh, before and after the 
sun uh, sun hours or after the noon insignificant uh, photovoltaic power near uh, the sun or after sunrise will be uh, observed because uh, at those times the uh, solar intensity or the sunlight is less Actual solar conditions in subcontinent is around uh, 3.5 to 4.5 uh, hours per day. Now this is the example of uh, solar uh, uh, photovoltaic power plant uh, design, and uh, the design is for a household uh, which have the uh, electrical appliances use, uh, usage uh, given as uh, 28 watt watt fluorescent lamps which have to be used 5 hours per day and their number is 3 also on the second number is 120 watt fans uh, which have to be used for 14 hours per day and there are total 3 fans and on the third number is a refrigerator whose power rating is about 150 watt and it runs 24 hours per day and it has a compressor that runs around 12 hours and remains at rest or remains off for rest of the 12 hours. Also it is given that you can assume that 85% of the power uh, reaches the load and the system uh, will be powered by a 12 volt DC 110 watt power photovoltaic uh, modules with uh, short circuit current of 7.1 uh, ampere each should be considered and uh, consider a panel generation factor or uh, PGF that is uh, we can say the power factor of around 3.8 and the batteries which are available have an efficiency of 85% with allowable depth of discharge DOD is at 75%. So we will move uh, towards the first step that is the power uh, uh, determination the uh, according to uh, the consumption demand. So daily en uh, energy consumption can be collect uh, can be uh, calculated by adding uh, the sum of uh, three sources there are three bulbs and three fans and uh, a refrigerator uh, refrigerator has a uh, power rating of 150 watt and uh, the uh, bulb has a uh, 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 wattage of around 28 watt and a fan has a uh, capacity of around uh, 120 watt so uh, and these uh, are the multiplication factors that number of hours uh, that each uh, uh, power consum uh, consuming device has to be turned on that is the uh, bulbs uh, fluorescent bulbs uh, 5 hours and the fans were to be supposed to be turned on for 14 hours and for uh, refrigerator its compressor will run for 12 hours so 24 multiplied by 0 0.5 means 12 uh, half of the time it will uh, be turned on and rest of the time it will remain off so summing up all of uh, these three uh, energies that each of the device is consuming we get a result of 700 200 uh, 7260 watt hours per day Watt hours per day uh, required from the panel, assuming that 85% of the total power, uh, total uh, supplied power, uh, reaches the load. So uh, we will uh, divide the uh, daily energy consumption uh, with uh, 0.85. Uh, so it will, we will get 8,550 watt hour per day. Now we will move towards uh, the second step. The second step was to uh, calculate the size of a photovoltaic panel that has to be used in our system. 
so uh, the peak watt cap capacity uh, that is uh, is required will be calculated from this a watt hour per day required from the panels assuming that it was 85 per, uh, percent uh, efficiency so 8550 uh, divided by the uh, power factor uh, that is 3.8 we will get 2250 that is a p uh, total uh, peak watt capacity uh, required for the uh, overall power consumption now uh, from this uh, we are, we can calculate the number of modules that will be uh, required to meet the total uh, requirement of power so uh, we will uh, we have a 110 watt module so we will divide the total peak watt capacity that is the required divided by 110 uh, that is the uh, amount of power generated by a one uh, panel so uh, we get 20.45 so we, we are gonna round it up so we will require 21 modules uh, to meet this uh, power requirement Next, uh, next step, we will uh, estimate our uh, inverter size. That what size of inverter should be we use, uh, used uh, to fulfill our need. So, total watts of all uh, non-compressor appliances uh, is uh, there were three uh, bulbs, uh, three multiplied by twenty-eight plus three fans. Uh, that is uh, three multiplied by one twenty. Uh, three times the uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, bulbs and fans that are 20, uh, 28 and fan was around 120. So, non uh, compressor appliances will be multiplied by uh, 3, that is uh, around 444 uh, watts of uh, total power that is required uh, by the non compressor uh, motor appliances and the total uh, watts uh, of all the compressor appliances uh, is uh, uh, that is the refrigerator it was around 150 watts so the uh, design uh, while designing the inverter we should keep in mind that inverter wattage must be 1.25 to 1.3 times uh, the wattage of non compressor motor voltage that is the fans and the bulbs and it should be uh, three times the wattage of uh, compressor motor uh, load in order, in order to uh, let the inverter be capable of handling the starting current so, the, so therefore the inverter size is 1.3 times the non compressor appliances uh, that is uh, 1.3 multiplied by 444 watts and three times uh, the wattage of the compressor motor uh, loads uh, that is the non -com uh, compressor uh, motor is in refrigerator and its wattage is 150 watt so 3 multiplied by 150 so summing up these two uh, the total wa uh, watts of uh, the non -com uh, compressor appliances and the compressor appliances we get uh, the sum of these two at 1027.2 watts so for ease uh, for ease in design uh, we uh, select uh, to up uh, up convert it that is around 1050 watts now uh, in the fourth step uh, we will uh, be uh, estimating or uh, calculating the uh, battery sizing that uh, should be capable of uh, handling the overall load requirement so uh, the battery ca capacity uh, uh, ampere or uh, is calculated from this formula in which uh, the total watt hour per day uh, used by the appliances is divided by efficiency of the battery uh, allowed uh, discharge of uh, uh, DOD uh, DOD rate and uh, the uh, uh, voltage of, uh, of the battery that is available or is to be uh, supposed to be used uh, by 
in our design multiplied by uh, the days of uh, autonomy so in general uh, the uh, days of uh, autonomy uh, so in general the days of uh, autonomy should uh, not be uh, less than uh, 3 days to account for uh, rainy season uh the battery capacity uh, is calculated as uh, we have calculated 702 uh, 7260 uh, these were the total uh, watt hours uh, per day which were we which was supposed to be used by the appliances uh, multiplied by uh, the uh, uh, battery efficiency that is 85 percent uh, so we will write 0 0.85 over here uh, and the allowed uh, DOD was uh, 0 0.75 and the uh, batteries which were uh, to be supposed to be used uh, were of 12 volts so it is 12 and the days of autonomy uh, uh, we say uh, these are uh, 5 uh, autonomy is the uh, capacity uh, of uh, an agent to uh, act uh, in accordance with objective molarity uh, um, rather than under the influence of uh, desire. So, multiplied by 5, we get uh, 4745 uh, ampere hour. So the nearest batteries that are available had uh, 4800 ampere hour uh, capacity. So we will round it up to uh, 4800 ampere hour. So the battery bank which we are uh, supposed to be using for this uh, specific uh, design uh, should be rated at 12 volts and 4800 uh, ampere R for five day of uh, autonomy. This bank uh, will consist of uh, 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 4800 ampere R divided by uh, 200 that is uh, the uh, current rating uh, equals 24 batteries which should each be rated of uh, 200 ampere will be so we will need approximately 24 uh, batteries uh, for the overall system now in the fifth step we will uh, calculate the charge controller uh, sizing so we have uh, calculated that uh, 21 uh, modules uh, will be used and the one module have a 7.1 ampere of uh, short circuit current so, multiplying these two, we get the total uh, short circuit current of an array, of an array which has a 21 module and each module has a uh, short circuit current of uh, 7.1 ampere. So, the total uh, short circuit uh, current will be 21 multiplied by 7.1 that is uh, approximately 149.1 uh, ampere. Charge controller current rating uh, should be uh, 1.3 times the total uh, sh uh, short circuit uh, current of an array uh, so 1.3 multiplied by 149.1 uh, uh, equals 193.83 ampere so the solar ch uh, charge uh, controller uh, should be uh, rated around 200 ampere at uh, operating at 12 volts or more now we will perform a little cost analysis of the overall system that will meet our desired uh, power requirements so the cost of single 110 watt 12 volt uh, photovoltaic panel is around 27,140 
so 21 modules uh, will cost 27140 multiplied by uh, 21 which uh, is equal to 5 lakhs 69940 uh, rupees uh, so the cost of 1000 watt uh, solar uh, inverter is around uh, 25000 uh, and the cost of one 200 ampere hour battery is around 22,500 and we have calculated that uh, we, uh, we we need uh, 24 such batteries uh, which have a 12 volt and 200 ampere hour uh, rating so 24 uh, multiplied by uh, this we will lead to 5 lakhs uh, 40,000 rupees for this is, this is the cost of batteries uh, that will be uh, needed to fulfill our uh, requirements now the cost of uh, 200 ampere uh, solar charge uh, controller is around 46,500 rupees so the total cost of uh, the whole uh, photovoltaic solar uh, power system is the sum of all these uh, the cost of 21 modules uh, it is written over here the cost of 1000 watt solar inverter this is uh, over here the cost of 24 batteries this is uh, over here and the cost of uh, uh, solar charge controller it is written over here so it is around 11 lakh 81,440 rupees